guys, welcome back again. I've been asked a few times now to do reds. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm in no way an expert at doing red pores. Uh, if you're gonna put it with white, you're gonna get pink. Um, white and black obviously make gray, so you're gonna get different shades, but I'm gonna give it a go for you. I'm just gonna go and get my cups. I forgot again. Get the thing to get my cups. All right, now I did make my paint earlier, made it up a couple of hours ago, and then I made a couple of batches of fudge, caramel fudge for my daughter's fundraiser, which she's got at work tomorrow. So she came up this weekend, she lives about two hours away, so she came up for the weekend, not to see me, no, but to get some fudge. So we've been making three big trays of caramel fudge. So I made up the paint and then went and did that. So hopefully it's not too airy and, and bubbly. It's starting to stick to the side though of my cups. So I've got um, reds. And my mix today is this one again, the glue and water, 65% water, 35%, sorry, start again, 65% glue, 35% water. It's just a craft glue. The craft glue seems to work well with my global. When I've used too much of the wood glue with this, it curdles. Uh, wood glue might be fine with other brands, but I just found that the global didn't really like it. So I've gone to craft glue and it seems to be okay. All right, so um, now I've got I've made up more paint than I need because I did all these colours and then I thought I really want some um, dark metallic silver. So I've made up another cup. So I won't use all of these. I'll just sort of almost fill my five cups and then I know I've got enough for this size canvas. These hold 200 mils. So two, four, six, eight, ten. That's too much. I only need 800. So probably fill them three quarters of the way and then I know I've got enough. So, um, treadmill silicone, pop that in. What have I got in here? A lot, so 200, 369, 12, 15, 18. I'll, I think I'll put in five drops. I don't want to overdo it. One, two, three, oh, four, five. One, two, three, four, I won't do the white. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, you know what? I think I will. I just won't do the black. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I can get some white cells popping up through the black. There we go. That's enough. Got that oil sitting on the silver there. Now I want to give them a good, a bit of a good stir because this paint mix is quite thick. So as I said, I'm using my glue and water. And then I've got my paints mixed 50-50. So one part pouring medium to one part paint. So it's a nice thick paint. It's got a nice strong colour to it because it's got a lot of paint per pouring medium. With some of my others I do three parts pouring medium to one part paint. So this is one to one. All right, so start with some black in the bottom. I may actually put a little bit of extra black in as well between these two colours here. I might add some black in there as well because I do want a good amount of, of black. I wonder how this is going to drizzle. Yeah, it seems to be okay. I've kind of just been pouring it on like I do when I do my ring pours. You pour down the side, but it seems to be thick enough that it's just going to sit there. So I've got, I've kept my black and my white away from each other because I don't want too much grey. And I've kept my red, my two reds, away from the white because I don't want pink. I'll, I will still get a little bit of pink, but I've separated the white. I've got orange and grey on either side, so hopefully that will help. So I don't mind having a, a grey, a greyish, Blackish, reddish, 
painting. I'm okay with that. So I've got two shades of red. One is this one here. It's global cool red. It has a slight pink hue to it. So that's that one. So I thought, what else can I use? And I found my Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red. And I thought, I'm going to add some of that as well. So I made up a cup of that one as well. It's a bit of a darker red, more of a, a letterbox or fire engine red. That's it there. I don't know if you can see much of a difference in them. This one's a bit more pinky. That one's a bit more red. And I made up a batch of that. Um, this red, as I said, is one part pouring medium to one part paint. The Liquitex Basics ones, I've done two parts pouring medium to one part paint because it is a thicker paint. You have to mix more pouring medium with it or water. If you don't want to use any more pouring medium, you need water. Now, these two are very similar, so I don't want to put them next to each other, so I'm going to do a row of black. Or a layer of black, I should say. It's not really a row, is it? But a row of cups. And a layer of black. There we go. And then our lovely red. So as I said, I've got the black. I've got the cool red from Liquitex, uh, sorry, the cool red from the Global. And then I've got this antique silver metallic. And then we have white. And this one is a warm red. So it's still a shade of red, but it's more of an orangey sort of a red. And I've got black and white. That's the Liquitex Basics, the Cadmium red deep hue that one which is that one on the end okay now what I want to do um, what do I want to do I just put black underneath that red so I might do some of this silver again otherwise I've got black red black which I don't really want. All right, let's go with the black again. I do want it quite dark. So I'm happy to put extra black in. This is going to finish it off. I do have a tiny little bit of black left over from my earlier pour that I'll use for my corners. As I said, I'm not going to use all this paint. I've got way too much for this size canvas. Oh, wipe my hands. Such a messy business this, isn't it? Um, right, now I've used that one and that one. I don't want the white next to the black. Let's do this one again. I think I'm going to have too much paint by the looks of it. I'm going to have to stop. These two aren't quite as full, they can have a little bit more. So I'll put some of this red in here, just in these two. And these two that have just got orange on the top, they can have a little bit of white next to them. I don't want to put white on the red, but I can put white on the orange, that's okay. So that's that one gone. Mm, and then I've got a little bit more of this silver, so that can go on there. Finish this off. Hopefully it's going to be red enough. Hopefully. So I don't want it to be too orange. I've still got a lot of orange left. And I've still got a lot of my pinky red left. I didn't use all of that. I've pretty much used a lot of the, almost all of the Liquitex Basics, which is a much nicer colour. All right, that'll do. Let's get to flipping. And I've got a little bit of white left. All right. Got 
my little tool handy for my edges. Just move these so that they're all equal distances apart. Move them up to the top, get as close to the top as I can without the paint running out from underneath. Um, now, I've shown you all the paints already, so I've got nothing to show you. Move these away. Okay. The metallic silver, I did put an extra blob in that as well because I find that the metallics do have to be a little bit thicker. Now, this is, I've got a tiny little bit of black left over from my previous pour. It's more of a grey. This, this is the, um, the Deco Art um, that I used. I don't know if you saw my metallic pour with the Deco Art paints. I've just got a little bit of the black left of that. It's kind of a more of a grey black. It's not really a, a very dark black. So, but anyway, I'll just pop a tiny bit on here just in case. I don't get quite to those corners and I don't think it'll matter if it's slightly a different black. Just do this while I'm waiting for those the paint to drop down from those cups. And then once I've done this pour, I've got my last batch of fudge to make. It's the best fudge in the world. It's so good. I make it at Christmas time and everyone says, oh, make me a batch and I end up having to make batches for everyone. They do pay me <laughs> because um, one year I had 100 orders for fudge. It was just, it was way too much. So I thought I'm not doing that again, I'm putting up a sign saying who wants fudge because 100 people wanted fudge for, for the holidays. So I'm... Um, Still make some for a few people, but not not everybody. It was too much. All right, that's my black corners. Right now, let's hope this works. As I said, I'm no expert with reds. Red's not really my colour. I tend to do blues, and I know how they're going to react. You get light blue with white. You get dark blue with black. It's okay, but red and white, it's always a bit of an issue, isn't it? straight away. I might try and just plop them out like that rather than drag them too much. I find it works better with this thick mix that I've been using lately. There's a lot of red through there isn't there? I'm going to do this one backwards to fill in this gap here. Oh, pretty! There we go. Oh, it's looking good so far. Isn't it? Except for that. I've got to be so careful with my um, getting the paint out of the cups. It can make or break a pour, really, can't it? Having that, maybe I can tilt that off. You've just got to be so careful about what you decide to put back on. I've got a little bit left. There's about a quarter of a cup left in that one. I wonder if I should go through all that. It's quite red there, isn't it? But it might be nice. It might be, might be nice in the end having a bit of red there. This is quite pale. I think I'll bring some through here. Pretty. I like that. It just had a little, too much white there, I think, for me. What else have I got left? A little tiny bit. It's got a lot of white in it, though. Mm, do I want to go through here? No, because I'll lose all those. I think that'll do. I've probably got way too much paint anyway, because I almost filled those cups. I don't need a thousand grams. I only need 800. Okay, let's do a bit of torching. Selective 
torching. I don't need any there. Turn this bad boy down a bit. A bit here in the red. A bit there in the red. Over here in the white. A little bit up here in the black. A bit in that white there. A bit round here. A bit here and up into that corner there. How's that? Oh, that's... Whoa. Heaps. Too much. Oh my goodness. That was that was a bit excessive. Right, let's tilt quickly before they go any bigger. Stop them getting too big, hey? Okay, well this is going to be relatively quick, quick then. You know, the longer you wait, the bigger the cells grow. And if you don't want them to grow too big, then tilt away. I do need to get to both these edges here, if I can. <laughs> I'm tilting and I'm not really getting anywhere, am I? <laughs> I'm getting further down the canvas, not really getting to the sides. All right, that's got it. It's got it. Too much paint. See how it's moving really freely? Whoa, way too much. Colours are nice though. Over you go. Alright, that's it. Bring this back. It's very busy. I've got way too many cells for my liking. I only had five drops of oil, didn't I? Now, I'm going to see if I can get some of these cells to go down there because this is starting to stretch up here. So I just want to get some of that to go down. Keeping an eye on up here, though, because these are starting to stretch as well. That's a fine line between covering that just go over. I think I've got too much paint on here. I used way too much of what I made up. Now I'm just going to take these. These are overstretched a bit here, so I'm just going to take the weight of it back down just a touch. Wow, look how busy it is. Whoa, way too busy. How's that? I think I might just leave it like that. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, got a little bit of the orange showing through there, that warm red. Nice big blocks of red here. Got quite a lot of black, which is what I wanted. And obviously I have got that greyish look from my metallic silver and my black and my white together, which is fine. I, I wanted that. I wanted that sort of greyish, blackish look. Now, I'm going to have to do this again, you know that, don't you? And cut down on my silicone because there's hardly any background at all. It looks like, look at that, it looks like a pebble, one of those, um, what do they call those pebble paths? Cobble, cobblestone paths around here? It's just way too much. But the cells have stayed quite nicely shaped. Um, I think they may, my paint's just maybe a little bit too... Thin still. Something in there. Get out, you bad thing. Alright, now um, I'll get my little tool. I don't think there's terribly much that I need to cover up. So I'll, I'll do this again in the reds because I really like this. I'm loving these colours. Wouldn't this look nice on a big one? And for those of you who love lots of cells, you probably like this. And then wipe underneath to catch all those drips. I need to put a tiny little bit of black right there where I've touched the corner. So make sure you grab your little tool and go all the way down like that, catch your drips. 
before you set it aside to dry. In this corner, I've touched this corner as well, so let's just do that. I really like having these black corners. If you guys do these pores, please, please, please do your corners first. I've got little black corners on each. And I mean, you saw I didn't tip very much, but it just helps you not having to tip over to get to those little tiny corners. So do it. It's a good thing to do. I think it's a good idea. I'm happy to share it with you. So please do it. I'm just going to fill in these little bits here. Maybe a few tiny little areas there that need paint. Come around here. That corner is good to go. Tiny little bit of black just there needed. Okay. All good. I like that. I'm happy with the colours. Hardly any pink at all. There's a tiny bit of pink just in there. Oh, a little bit in there. But um, I don't think it's bad. I, don't, I really don't think it's a bad pink. It's just, you know, got different shades of reds. What do you guys think? Do you like that? I'm not going to torch it because, whoa, <laughs> way too many cells already. Um, I think on some of my paints I didn't quite do 50-50. They looked really thick and I thought I'll leave that. See, my, my white's looking quite... Thin. I like it to mound and then a mound on top of the mound for this. It needs to be really quite thick. So this isn't as thick as I would like it really. Now I'm going to take the camera down or take my phone down and just show you from my perspective and then I can zoom in on a few pretty cells for you. So a lot of people say why do you use glue? I use glue because I feel it helps my cells stay in a nice shape. It's my personal opinion. Feel free to try it yourself. There we go. Let's just move that up a bit. Oh no, it's not going to work. I thought I'd move it and get rid of my, my mess, but not really going to work. Okay, let's go in here. We've got a lot of this little scaling there I guess you can call it so many cells it looks like cobblestones it's pretty it's just it's too much for me I like some background this nice block of red here a little bit pinky in the top right hand corner there but again it's not too bad come out show you the whole thing from my perspective the way I looked at it when I poured what do you think pretty okay hope you enjoyed that video please join the Australian acrylic pouring group on Facebook Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can catch up on all my videos. You won't miss a thing. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.